Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching the CCN News Blast. Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. I'm Paulo Alejandria. An Almonte family claims that two police officers responding to a domestic disturbance call on their home use excessive force that ultimately killed their family member, Kwa An Lee. This case is about an innocent man. I see there's no exigent or urgency where they have to arrest him at that point where they beating him that point and end up killing him that point. This memorial in front of the Lee family home stands in tribute to Kwa An Lee who died just five days before his 37th birthday. It all started after Lee's sister called police late in the evening of June 14th as her father and brother who suffers from schizophrenia fought physically. The Lee family attorney Hong Hui Tu says two officers arrived a half an hour later to their home in the 2700 block of Carmina Avenue. By that time, Tu says the situation had calmed down considerably. Still, Tu says the officers headed straight to this garage, which his family had turned into a bedroom for Lee, and that a short time later they attacked him. Tu also says the officers shot Lee twice in the ribs with tasers and hit him more than 20 times with a flashlight. At one point during the struggle, Tu says one of the officers put Lee in a sleeper hold, which he says may have broken Lee's neck. Tu says this or any of the ways the El Monte officers attacked him could have caused Lee's death. Tu says inconsistent statements from the police about the incident point to a cover-up. In this case, the first thing they issued, the statement that morning, 9.45, he died because of medical complication, no weapon was used. That's their statement. But if you look at the latest press release, okay, they stated that the police did hit him with a baton, hit him with a flashlight, used the taser on him, and choke hole also. The statement changed for inconsistency. It looks like a cover-up. It looks like they're trying to cover each other right instantly. They want to see the family, what they're going to do after the press release. Are they going to fold? Are they going to not say anything? The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is currently taking over the investigation of this case. Deputy Aura Sierra Lidman, public information officer for the LASD, says that the two El Monte officers reported the next day injuries that they suffered as a result of their altercation with Lee. Lee family attorney Huang Wei Tu says that the case of Kwa Lee is very similar to the highly publicized case of Kelly Thomas, the homeless man who was beaten to death last year by Fullerton police and who, like Lee, also suffered from schizophrenia. Tu says that he and the rest of his legal team will wait for the results of Lee's autopsy before they decide what further legal action to take. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the CCN News Blast. Don't forget to check us out online at crowncitynews.com. And as always, Crown City News, your news, your neighborhood. In El Monte, Paulo Alejandria, CCN.